the Pythagorean triples are numbers of the form ABC such that A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. In most SAT problems that involve Pythagorean triples, they use the same numbers. For example, it's very classic to find 3, 4, and 5 because 3 squared plus 4 squared is equal to 5 squared. If you use no 3, 4, and 5, you can memorize all the triples. For example, by just multiplying everything by 2, you will obtain 6, 8, and 10, which is essentially another triple. By 3, you will get 9, 12, 15. By 4, will be 12, 16, and 20. And what they have in common is that they are all Pythagorean triples. Another Pythagorean triple that is very common in the SAT is 5, 12, and 13. And another one that is also common is 8, 15, and 17. And last but not least, I want to present another one that sometimes appears, which is 7, 24, and 25. And why is this useful? Because, like I say, there is a huge chance that the triples that are going to be used in the SAT problem is going to be one of these that we presented right now. And how can you use them? Let's say, for example, you have a problem in which you have a right triangle, and you're given the hypotenuse, which is 17, and one of the legs of the triangle is 8. Then immediately you can find the other leg, leg by just knowing that this triple, uh, by knowing this triple, a, 15, and 17. Clearly, the number that you're missing here is a 15. By memorizing the triples, you will save a lot of time solving SAT problems. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.